Forever Green presents the top 10 most ancient dog breeds on earth. Number one, Chow Chow. A blue black tongue is one of the Chow Chow's most distinctive traits and artistic depictions of the dog date back to 150 BC. The breed is from China and is among the breeds with genetic evidence showing they are truly ancient. Chows were used by the Chinese as hunters, herders, cart and sled pullers, guards and protectors of the home. The dog likely descends from the ancient Tibetan Mastiffs and may be the ancestor of Spitz breeds like the Kishon, Norwegian Elkhound and Pomeranian. In fact, the oldest recorded dog fossils dating back several million years ago look very similar in structure to the Chow Chow. Pictures on pottery that appear to be Chows date back to 206 BC. Chow Chows first arrived in England in the late 1800s, and the breed name may be from the pidgin English word Chow Chow, which refers to miscellaneous items brought to England from the Far East by merchants. The Chow was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1903. Number 2. Siberian Husky the Siberian Husky is thought to have originated on the Siberian Peninsula where it's very cold. They have very thick double coats. The Siberian Husky was developed by the Chukyi people of Northeastern Asia and dates back 4,000 years or more. The Siberian Husky made his American debut in dramatic fashion in 1925 when a team of the dogs delivered life-saving diphtheria serum to Nome, Alaska but the origins of the breed can be traced thousands and thousands of years ago to the Chuki people in Siberia, where the Husky was a working dog who pulled heavy sleds for long distances. Number 3. Akita This breed is originated from Japan, which many of us didn't know until we started to research them. The first Akita was brought to the U.S. in 1937 by Helen Keller, who received him as a gift. Sadly, the dog died of distemper shortly after he arrived. In 1938, a second Akita, the older brother of the first dog, was given to Keller. After World War II, many U.S. servicemen brought Akita to the U.S. Now there are two types of Akitas, the original Japanese Akita Inu and the American Standard Akita. These dogs would track down animals like wild boar, deer, and even bears. They were also used as guard dogs in ancient times. The Akita Inu is native to the Akitas region in Japan and is the national dog of Japan. The Akita is a very versatile breed, good as a police or military dog, guard dog, a hunter of bear and deer, and a sled dog. Number 4. Indian Pariah Dog It may come as a surprise to some, but these are a few of the only pure breeds that originate in India. There have been no human intervention in their breeding process. The Indian Pariah Dog was named so in the British era. It draws its inspiration from the Pariah tribe of Tamil Nadu. The origin of this breed is shrouded in mystery. No one knows as to when this breed came into existence. They have been always present in Indian villages and cities since time immemorial. In fact, historical references show that the Indian pariah dog has been present in the country since the Neolithic times. No one knows for certain as to when the domestication of these dogs started. Number 5. Tibetan Terrier These dogs are characterized by having fur that falls over their eyes. Well, there is actually a good reason for that. The hair that covers their eyes is a means of protection from the cold climate and elements of Tibet, the country that they originated in. Tibetan terriers are not considered true terriers. They were considered the holy dogs of Tibet because they were raised by lamas in monasteries. They were mostly used for companionship and thought of as good luck charms by the lamas, but they also did some herding and retrieving. Number 6. Samoyed The Samoyed was used for lots of different jobs during ancient times. The breed comes from Siberia, where it was very cold, hence it has a thick coat. The Samoyed breed was used as a reindeer herder, a hunter, sled puller, and a guard dog for over 3,000 years. They were highly valued dogs. 
The Samoyed expanded beyond Siberia at the end of the 19th century and was used to pull sleds on popular expeditions. The expeditions were so difficult and dangerous that only the strongest and fittest dogs were able to survive. The Samoyed was accepted as a breed in England in 1909 and in the U.S. in 1923. Number 7. Alaskan Malamute The Alaskan Malamute was named after a native Alaskan tribe, Malamutes Eskimos, that began breeding the dogs around 1000 BC. Alaskan Malamutes were bred for endurance. They were designed to be able to carry large and heavy things for long distances. They have lots of stamina. They are the largest and oldest of the Arctic sled dogs. You'll notice that like their cousins, Siberian Husky, the Samoyed, and the American Eskimo dogs are also included in this video of ancient dog breeds. The breed is descended from the Arctic wolf. Like the Samoyed, these dogs also participated in polar expeditions, including Admiral Byrd's journey to the South Pole. Number 8. Shih Tzu the word Shih Tzu means lion in Chinese. This breed was another treasured companion by the Chinese. They didn't really have any working duties. Today, they are considered one of the most popular pets in America. The breed is thought to have originated in Tibet, bred by Tibetan llamas to look like a little lion, which is why Shih Tzu means little lion dog. Evidence such as documents and paintings depict that the breed is far older, dating back to 624 AD. These lions were sweethearts of the Chinese Ming Dynasty, and today they live long lives as companion animals throughout the world. Also, don't forget to watch our upcoming video of Top 10 Longest Living Dogs of the World. Number 9. Basenji I know the Basenji as the breed that doesn't bark. On research, it turns out that the Basenji breed is a dog that comes from Africa. They were used as presents in ancient Egypt. This African breed is arguably the most ancient breed in the world, and sculptures of dogs resembling the Basenji can be found in Egyptian tombs. His reputation as a non-barking dog may be because early people preferred a quiet dog as a hunting companion. Basenjis do bark, but usually only once, and then they are silent. Another interesting aspect of this breed is that it may be only partially domesticated. The Basenji's metabolism is unlike that of any other domesticated dog and females only cycle once a year, compared to twice a year for other domesticated dogs. The Basenji was used by African tribes to flush game into nets, carry goods, and warn of approaching danger. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1943, and to this day, the Basenji remains a rare breed in the U.S. Number 10. Lhasa Apso this breed is considered to be one of the first dogs considered by humanity as a pet. The Lhasa Apso comes from the Himalayan mountains where it's very cold. I guess that's why they have such nice long coats. For thousands of years, the Lhasa Apso was the exclusive property of nobility and monks. The breed was considered sacred, and when an owner died, it was thought his soul entered the body of his Lhasa. They were used as guard dogs for Buddhist monasteries and in the homes of important Tibetan nobles. This very furry little dog is originally from Tibet and is named from the holy city of Lhasa. His thick coat is designed to protect him from extremes of cold and heat in his native climate. The first recorded history of the Lhasa dates back to 800 BC. The first pair of dogs of this breed to come to the U.S. were given as a gift by the 13th Dalai Lama in 1933. The American Kennel Club accepted the Lhasa Apso as a breed in 1935.